smt nation we back folks we got a big update out of verizon well i know a lot of people have been asking about this youtube members i know there were some patrons uh, who are asking about this so i wanted to make sure that i got this update to you guys this is really amazing i'm, I'm so happy to get this news all right so verizon is going to be testing an integrated access backhaul with company verana all right for this new technology this is going to be a game changer and let me explain the technology and how we can expect it to be utilized all right so things have been pretty quiet but in terms of iab and i know some of you guys have probably heard this three letter whatever shortened phrase okay it stands for integrated access and backhaul basically what this is designed to do is to get high capacity backhaul to sites that are very difficult to get fiber to so ieb with the help of millimeter wave spectrum can achieve that the basic premise is you run a high capacity fiber optic circuit to one tower site and then from that tower site or location doesn't even have to be a tower site uh, it, it could just be a site that has the fiber optic backhaul, right? The, the circuit. You can use millimeter wave spectrum, which Verizon holds a lot of. And you can use that as the backhaul for other sites. Sort of like in a daisy chain type of deal. What they refer to sometimes, I believe they call them hops. All right, so this is the perfect utilization of Verizon's millimeter wave assets. I think Verizon has over a thousand megahertz of millimeter wave spectrum nationwide. So with the help of Verana's technology, which I think includes the complete deployment of radio gear, radio access networking solutions. So we're talking about, you know, like the, uh, the antenna, the radio, you know, dish, whatever goes into this. It's going to put millimeter wave to a tremendous use. The thing about millimeter wave is that it's always needed this, it's needed line of sight, right? And if the site is tall and there's no obstructions and there's nothing in the way, millimeter wave is actually the perfect solution for something like this, right? Because it can reach, you know, up to a kilometer or something like that. You could daisy chain the access points to create hops from location to location site to site and you could just take one location that has the fiber optic circuit and just keep using it all the way down the line and it's perfect because if you think about it like millimeter wave has these very narrow beams you know so interference is not really an issue you know the the spectrum efficiency is going to be really good it's perfect for backhaul it's very suitable for it if you have line of sight you, you know, nothing's in the way. You get it nice and high. It shouldn't really be much of an issue. So whether it's for, you know, tower sites directly or, you know, for mobile network or fixed wireless access. I mean, this is going to be huge, especially in places like rural America where fiber owners, operators don't typically run fiber to a great extent. It's it's limited. And actually, that's really the hard part. You know, I've had conversations with engineers in the past about this. You know, one gig circuits can be hard to come by. 10 gig circuits are nearly impossible in some places. You know, there's no return of investment on it. This fits the bill. And, you know, like a lot of places have microwave backhaul limited to like 100 meg, 200 meg, 500 meg backhaul. The carriers have enough spectrum now that are going to require at least one gig backhaul. At least. That's a starter, right? One gig capacity. 10 gig is more like future proof because. You're going to have more mid mid band spectrum coming to market. You've got things like millimeter wave now is becoming a thing. And we want to see that happening on a grand scale, you know, with all this fixed wireless going on and things of that nature. So this seems like a great update. Verizon doing these field trials with Verana. Verana providing all the radio access networking gear, putting the millimeter wave spectrum to good use. Folks, the millimeter wave spectrum is cheap. I mean, it's just a few billion dollars got them national fiber optic potential, essentially. And obviously, the first generation of this will be, you know, modest in its performance. And I'm sure the next generation will be even better. But 
with testing slated to happen at the end of this year and Verizon kind of on the bleeding edge of this technology, I actually think that while this is going to be a crucial asset to Verizon's future networking, AT&T is going to need this. And oh my goodness, does T-Mobile need this? Because they're really the only company that isn't a fiber owner on any level, right? Or any type of a fiber builder. So this is huge. You know, I could see Verizon doing this with its own fiber optic circuits. You know, they can do it with other carriers, fiber optic circuits. This is huge. This is exactly what we were thinking of when we when we knew that Verizon and these carriers went national with millimeter wave spectrum. And they started talking about, you know, getting all the spectrum on air. And now you can actually put, you know, the fiber like capacity daisy chained with hops from site to site. I'm so excited about this. I hope you guys are too. And I mean, this is going to be huge for rural America, folks, and suburban and places where it's hard to get fiber. This is big. This is real big. The only shame is that, you know, this is going to be developing towards the end of the year. And who knows when it makes a commercial. A 2024 25 time frame is probably realistic because here we are in like the beginning of 23 and they're talking about testing at the end of the year. So put it on the back burner. This is in the oven. We'll see when it finishes baking. I'm very excited about this. Any engineers out there, let me know what you guys think about this. So, of course, the SMT Nation, the network tech enthusiast, I'm sure is excited as well. Sound off in the comment section below. You all, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to miss an upload. Links in the description for all things going on with the channel. Big shout out to the YouTube members and the Patreon supporters for making content on this channel possible. You all the goats and for all the viewers, thank you. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.